Well, hello YouTube. If you uh, watched the last of my videos, you'll have last seen this engine running, having just got it all plumbed together. Well, we've made a little progress since then, so let me give you a little whiz round, and then we'll see what she's like running, which is obviously the most important bit. So, the first change, we now have a generator. Yes. So finally, she can make some volts. It's just a, uh, a cheapo Chinese generator, the original Startomatic unit being broken, but uh, for now that'll do. If we whiz in close up here you'll see the pulley with the ring gear on, and eventually where this plate is there will be a starter motor to save me my poor efforts. So moving on, the cooling system, there's currently a big empty tank. This will obviously eventually be full of water and uh, with a bit of luck will give me a nice hot shower after all these strenuous efforts. And we have our header tank, which is literally just uh, a bunch of water for the cooling system, which is this rather dodgy set of piping you see here. And lurking underneath here, if I can get the camera that low, is a central heating pump, just of the bog standard 240 volt variety. And because winter's coming and I have no antifreeze, a drain cock, just so I can empty it. Okay. Oops. Eventually, this big silver piece here, which is aluminium, will become a heat exchanger, just to test one. At the moment it's just uh, sitting there to extend the exhaust a little bit closer to the exit. And as before, I'm running two X racing car exhausts. Uh, apparently Aston Martin copies, so this is the Lister Diesel Aston Martin. Okay, um, our load today, which is coming out of that dodgy looking wire there, into the even dodgier looking flying sockets. There's two, two loads, one is the uh, central heating pump for the coolant, and the second is this rather decrepit old heater, which uh, allows me to throw two kilowatts, I believe, at this uh, poor little Chinese gen head. So, let's get her going.
bit claggy. Not too bad. <laughs> 